Hi everyone, we are in the main menu of uh, Pure Chess. And we're going to go on the top right hand corner where it says Chess Challenges. So go ahead and click on that. We're going to Bonus Games. And we're going to tackle uh, the main four set. Uh, problem number 17. So if you'd like, go ahead and hit pause and take a look at it. Uh, just to familiarize yourself with the pieces. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and uh, analyze this and break this down. Now, uh, we have a queen on uh, h6, which can do quite a bit. Uh, but now uh, we also have a bishop here on d5 and a bishop on b2. We've got a knight. Here in F, your E2, and uh, a rook on F1. We're trying to figure out how do we get to mate in four. One of the things that stands out uh, to the solution, one of the things that should stand out, is uh, that uh, black has a rook here on a A6. And if we do not move the queen, uh, we lose the queen because if you see the queen is uh, also on row six. So the queen could be taken if something's not done, either a check or, you know, what, what have you. Uh, uh, let's see. Blacks uh, doesn't have really, black doesn't have hardly any flight squares, has zero flight squares for uh, the king. Uh, but, you know, Let's see, we can't simply, we could take uh, the 7, uh, h7, uh, but that might not be great. Uh, we could put the queen here on g7. Um, that won't be checkmate because it's defended by uh, the e8 uh, knight. Uh, this piece right here, the f7 uh, pawn has, uh, you know, the bishop staring down at it and the rook on f1 staring down at it. However, um, there's only two attackers and there's, uh, let's see, one, yeah, two defenders, so it's not the best move here. So there's basically two concepts that I have in mind uh, to solving this problem here. Uh, first concept is going to be sacrifice, and the second concept, uh, if you notice these two bishops here, uh, and you'll notice there's a rook on uh, f1. Uh, the second concept to it is basically uh, windmill. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is move the king. And uh, we're gonna take, we would like to do is we want to take out this. Uh, we want to improve our position. So we're going to take out this uh, rook right here. F8 check. Forces uh, black's king to recapture. Okay. That's good for us because now we can uh, do this windmill concept. You'll notice there's a bishop right here protecting this piece, and there's only one defender, the king. Uh, and then there's a bishop right here. Uh, so we can do a series of uh, checks and discover checks. So we're going to play a rook uh, takes f7, check. And that, of course, is going to force uh, Lax King to move. And then we'll do the same thing here. Oops. Check. Now, uh, when we went to G7, uh, Black's King had to move. It could not recapture because uh, this rook was protected, defended by the the bishop. And uh, while well, actually that bishop wasn't enough to defend, uh, what had helped us here is that we have a double check from the bishop on uh, d5 that gave us a double check now the last part of this problem is a little bit tricky uh mm -hmm. you'd think okay i can just move this uh rook out of the way back it up or maybe take this piece but remember uh this square right here the g7 square is defended by the knight on uh e8 so the solution to our problem is going to have to involve obviously 
moving this rook, but uh, moving it in a way that uh, there's at least two attackers here. And black hasn't checked. So um, what we need to do is uh, move to g8. And then what that'll do is it'll open up the spot by the bishop. But uh, we'll have uh, the, let's see, the bishop right here is protecting on uh, g8, protecting the rook. And so there'll be two, so black can't do anything with a king. So black doesn't have any defenders. So we're just going to put it to g8 and uh, double check. That solves the problem. And uh, that wraps this up. I am signing out. Thank you for watching.